Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here to talk today about how you can knit I-cord. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, let's knit some I-cord today. Now, what is I-cord exactly? <laughs> That is the question. Well, I-cord is all about knitting a long row of stitches that just doesn't stop. Now you can do this by knitting with a French knitting doll, but if you want to use thicker yarn, if you want to use chunky yarn, if it's in a part of a pattern where you just cannot fit it into a, a French knitting doll, then you have to come up with a different idea on how you can knit it. So. If it's in a pattern and you're driving yourself crazy not really knowing what to do, I have a demo right here for you um, that's going to help you knit your I-cord. Let's get to it. The idea of I-cord is to create a long tube of knitting without using a French knitting doll or a spool um, to create this. You're basically using double pointed needles. That's what you need, you need double pointed needles. And you can see this here, it doesn't stop. It's just one long row of stitches as if you're knitting in a circular way. And because there are so few stitches on the needle, you cannot really use a circular needle. That's why we're using double points. You only need two needles. You need two double pointed needles to start you off and to knit as far as you want to. So. That is what I've already created. I'm now going to show you how I started this. So to start with, I'm going to cast on five stitches. So I'm just going to make myself a slip knot, and that is winding the short end around the two fingers by the tips and then the two fingers by the knuckles. I then take one of these empty needles, go underneath the first loop and pull that second loop through. That is now a slip knot. So I'm now going to cast on five stitches. I'm going to do that now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so all those stitches are now on my left hand needle. That's what we're looking for. Remember, the stitches are on the left hand needle. Okay, so. I'm going to knit these five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. Now to create I-cord, you can see here that every single row has the smooth side on the outside. So we need to create this in a tube, in a round motion, in a circular set of knitting. So I'm going to make sure that this yarn is on the left hand side, but I'm pushing all of the stitches to the other end of the needle. And counterintuitively, this yarn does not come out of that right hand stitch. It's coming out of the stitch on the left hand side. I'm now going to keep using the yarn that's coming from the ball, and I'm going to knit every stitch on this row. So the first stitch, you're going to just want to pull a little bit tighter. Two, three, four, five. And this is going to get a little bit more obvious as you keep knitting. So that's one, two rows we've done now. I'm going to now push those stitches to the other end of the needle again. I'm going to pull that yarn so that the last stitch is connected really well to the first stitch. One, I'm going to just tug that a little bit more. Two, three, four, five. And again, instead of turning the needle like that, I'm pushing the stitches to the other end of the needle and pulling that yarn and knitting the stitches one at a time. Two, three, four, 
five. So we're knitting the stitches in a round. So now you can see, yes, you can see a tiny bit that it may well be a little bit looser at the back. But as you move further up, you can pull it a little bit tighter and you will not see it. As you can see here, just with a little bit more practice, as it moves further up the eye cord, it's not there. You cannot see that seam. That's basically what it is. It's the seam. You're joining the first and the last stitch on that needle, um, but you're not having to sew it up. You're actually creating that seam as you're knitting. So we're knitting in a circular, we're doing one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, instead of going across, 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 across. So we'll always have that smooth side of the stitch on the outside of the tube, on the outside of the eye cord. Now that's easier than you thought it might be, eh? <laughs> you can knit this as long until you run out of yarn if you like, but your pattern will probably tell you how long it needs to be. And it really is a great way. You can knit a necklace with it. You can sit there and take it with you no matter where you like. It can be a necklace. It can be, you can uh, knit up a small amount um, and knit a bracelet. I'll link below to the Pinterest board that I have, which lets you know what you can do with French knitting. And this is exactly the same principle. Like I said, it's just if you want to knit with thicker yarn, that it will be sometimes easier to knit it with the double pointed needles instead of a French knitting spool. There you go then, that's that. Um, do subscribe if you've enjoyed this and give me a thumbs up as well. The subscription button is below and if you hit on the notifications bell then you will be notified whenever a new video appears every Tuesday, every week. Right, I will see you again soon. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now. Happy knitting.